hello everyone hello everyone welcome back to my another video and this is a uh, Siddhi Purush Dharma course okay this will be a playlist and in this video I will just create a video about Siddhi Purush Dharma explanation the PDF I already have given to you uh, to some of my friends but uh, if any one of you don't have any f PDF of our Siddhi Purush Dharma then you can get it from the video description the link will be given and uh, this is like a course for Siddhi Purusha Dharma like explanation you know every video whatever is there will be explained in this playlist okay so subscribe our channel and uh, status with us so now let's move to the uh, QR code uh, this uh, QR code uh, will also have a you know link okay uh, the link for this QR code is also available on the video description you can get it from there so why I'm uh, the, the showing this QR code because uh, we as a Siddhi Purusha Dharma you know we don't have you know permission to get donations from people so um, the we cannot uh, take donation okay whatever we can take is we can take uh, services fees right so because we are doing uh, very hard work for this video so obviously uh, we'd like uh, you know we are like having uh, we're trying to get uh, some uh, you know charges for our services because uh, you know uh, the it takes a lot of time right uh, we have to spend a lot of time creating this kind of uh, video is no not so much high quality I have but uh, to expand this Siddhi Purusha Dharma to the world uh, we need a little bit of you know financial support right so for that uh, we are going to search a little bit of services from you uh, uh, services fees from you so that we can keep on our journey to enlightenment we can just keep on sharing our uh, knowledge to the world right but it's optional right uh, it's it's not mandatory that you need to pay there will be two options in our uh, any kind of uh, the course the, the whatever we say like okay one is uh, you can take it for free okay this video is for free but if you want to help us like expanding this uh, Dipurusha Dharma to the world then you can pay our services P in the name of services P okay people take in the name of donation but we don't want to take any donation because we don't have any permission to take donation but in the name of services fee we are uh, just taking for you and that's optional okay you can just pay it or don't uh, pay it it doesn't matter but video will uh, you will get video if you want the video right so let's start it uh, let's start from the PDF where is our PDF uh, 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 yeah this is the wisdom of life okay so this part is the wisdom of life we have two parts one is the wisdom of life and second is the you know journey of Siddhi Siddhis like uh, how to get uh, psychic abilities etc for that we have uh, different uh, this is different part okay so we have two parts uh, because uh, there will be two type of people right one is uh, those who are just uh, looking for enlightenment just looking for happiness and success okay but the uh, other people are s uh, some kind of people are there okay the the the, 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 the just don't only want enlightenment or success and happiness they want more something more like they want to uh, explore the you know psychic ability they want to uh, uh, know what is the supernatural power like for them we have a uh, different part okay? so th this is only uh, wisdom of life means it's for normal people like you and us right so let's start uh, we have here we have 14 pdf right we have 14 pdf but uh, th this all uh, pdf have to you you you'll have to read all this uh, you know uh, in a serial wise okay so so first uh, which pdf we have to read is uh why siddhi purusha dharma okay so i'm going to open this so why siddhi purusha dharma okay so uh, this why siddhi purusha dharma pdfs uh, this will tell you that why you should uh, join this Siddhi Purusha Dharma. Okay, why why it is important? Why it is created? Already there is lot of uh, religions, but why uh, 
this is not religion okay I'm, I'm sorry I'm mistaken this is a duty okay dharma means duty it's not a religion okay so this is a kind of knowledge which will which will help you to have your life happy and success and uh, you can move uh, you can be a part of a uh, journey of enlightenment right uh, so let us start so where should I keep my uh, view uh, it's okay I'll make it smaller okay so this is a version one okay so this is uh, why should Dipurusa dharma pdf and this is version one we, we have different different version for each pdf okay so this version uh, comes uh, according to our update okay if it is a new version that means we have updated uh, a little bit on this pdf right so uh, why should Dipurusa dharma it's a cover page now, okay and in the first place we have uh, it's about me uh, it's not important okay the, the only the content is important so the first place what we have in the first slide uh, in the for uh, it is not first slide it's third slide so here we have so many religions okay uh, as uh, you all you, you guys already know that there is lots of religions in this world lots of religions right so what is the problem with lots of religions there are uh, uh, there are already lots of religions but still lots of people are in pain sadness uh, unhappiness sins etc why so our question is if there is already lots of religions lot uh, already you know lots of the you know uh, philosophy is there how to live our life how to be uh, how to solve our problem and etc but still why people are in pain mm -hmm. we see lots of people are still in pain lots of still are uh, still in a f uh, in a full condition they are uh, having a sadness they are uh, having s tension they are always in unhappiness they are still doing lots of crimes still uh, lots of sins why 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 is this happening mm -hmm. Why it is happening? Uh, the th that is our question. Okay, that is why this Dipurusa Dharma is written. Okay, so the because we we, we are you know uh, we have questions in our mind. Okay. Why why I if there is lot of religions and religions is teaching lots of good things, then why why there is lot of sins? Still, why people are doing lot of sins? Why there is lot of sadness? Why there is lot of unhappiness? Right? Why? If there is a lot of religion, then uh, the uh, why why people are happy? That's our question. And second question we have is uh, it's it's the answer of the question uh, uh, because most people don't know about their own religion. So what we found out is uh, people are still unhappy, sad, etc., doing lots of sins, criminal crime things. Uh, right so th th that is because people don't know about it, his own religions right how many of you know about your own religions mostly people are trying to become uh, some kind of a Gnostic right like statistics or what it is called like uh, they're saying just uh, we have a science now at the science technology we have nowadays why I should read the religious book what is the use of reading religious book they, they, they even don't know what, what what is the reason of religion why religion is uh, created for us uh, so that is why people stop reading religious kind of book right because they thought this is out of there this uh, god is like a the, 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 uh, it's just a you know uh, our uh, belief system or thought system or whatever they are thinking right so the this god is there is no proof about god why i shall read the religious book why i shall believe the religious book because there is no god nothing is there so people are thinking like this kind of things so that is why people start becoming like at atheist right so uh, the and they don't read the religious book okay right so that is why the, they don't know nothing about his own religions what is sin they don't know nothing about it uh, what is uh, how to solve your life's problem they don't know nothing about it right and uh, how to make your family more better how to make your family wise uh, they don't know th nothing about it okay because they don't care they're just busy in just reading general science reading other human technology what I would like to say is we have uh, two duties in our life okay first is the family duty second is the career duty okay 
so if you're only looking for the career 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 you are just running behind your career that you need some kind of good job some kind of good business which is going to bring you lots of money and you're thinking if money is going to uh, bring happiness and uh, wellness for your family it's it's not the correct okay it's not the right thing still there is lots of people who have lots of salary lots of money but still their family is uh, having lots of problem right family problem so uh, it is happening because he's only focusing on the career duty okay he's not focusing on the family duty right so uh, if you're not fa focusing on the family duty you will have a family problem right so we have a uh, two duties you have to give time to your family as well you have to give time to your uh, career also okay it's not like you can only focus on only one thing it's not like you have to find some solution to uh, the, 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 to do this to duty because you have to give separate time for family and separate time for your career also so people don't know how to how to perform this okay people don't know how to how, when i will give to the career when i will give to the uh, give time to the family so that is why siddhi purusha dharma was built okay in the siddhi purusha dharma we will teach you how to follow these two duties at the same time right so uh, as far you go deep into the siddhi purusha dharma things you will know how to you know ha uh, how to f uh, you know fulfill these two duties right two duties of our life and that is family duty and career duty right so uh, that is why people don't know okay people don't know the don't read their religious book so they don't know how to solve their problems in their life okay so that is why they are doing sins crime they have lots of tension problem because they don't know nothing about uh, how to control his family or how to solve problems in their life okay because uh, the, you know running family and running your career you know is different okay they, they have a different techno techniques they have a different uh, the process of doing right uh, it's not like that uh, whatever you are you know doing in your career you're going to do at home it's not going to happen sometimes you have to do in an opposite way right like you, you in your family you just you know uh, don't care about money okay in your family you care about only the happiness but in your career okay in your career duty you don't care about happiness okay you care about only success and money right so uh, this is a uh, two different duties okay sometimes you have to do in opposite way whatever you are doing in your career uh, you have to do opposite in your family duty okay so that that's what uh, how to do all this you will know in this city for Sadharma okay so number three here it is written they even don't know about what is sins yes that is correct because they don't know nothing about his own religions they don't know nothing about sins so they are doing you know criminal things in uh, like uh, like in a depression mode right so uh, number four what it is written here uh, this is why sometimes it is very easy to fool people in the name of religion yeah that's also true okay so nobody knows okay that what is his religion what is the what were the teachings of uh, uh, the, the, the religions okay so uh, why religions teachings is important because religions is uh, some kind of uh, their teachings is there okay like how to live your life okay so how to live your life uh, you know how to solve your problems in life uh, the solutions for all those problems is already there in your religions book but the people don't look uh, you know don't read those religious book nowadays so people don't know nothing about how to solve his own problem right how to solve his own life's problem they don't know nothing about it so that is why people have lots of problems in life they have eaten illness they have sadness they have tension they have depression you know by accidentally uh, th they does something criminal things means since they do by accidentally uh, so th so so that is why the people have lots of problems still even if there is lot of religions people don't follow those religions okay so th uh, that is why sometimes it is very easy to f fool you okay some fake guru uh, some gurus will come um, because now you don't know nothing about your own religions okay you have to f now you need to solve your life's problem like right 
so to solve li uh, life's problem now you need to find some guru like spiritual guru or religious guru you have to find because uh, the guru the those guru have already you know gone through those or religious book right so that is why those gurus have already solutions solution ready for what kind of problems you are facing now you need to find those gurus you have to ask question to them and uh, they will advise you do this do that uh, this problem is happening to you because of this that because they already know the answer they have already the answer because they have already read uh, some kind of religious book right uh, in the religious book mostly all of the problems that you are having in your life the solution for all those things is already available okay so if you also read you will also become like expert in solving your life's problem so those gurus are like this okay so now you need to find some gurus uh, the gurus is not a problem okay but problem is some guru sometimes used to fool you right now you are uh, totally dependent on those gurus because you don't know nothing about your religion you have to trust this guru right so sometimes this guru might uh, brainwash you or sometimes this guru might fool you so that he can s uh, he can make money from you right so uh, the, the, the from you know the if this is happening then these gurus are fake right it is not like that every guru is fake but there are still uh, some gurus are there who is only here for making money right so that is why Siddhi Purusha Dharma is uh, is uh, is written so that you guys know what is exactly happening to the world right what is exactly happening right so that is why it is written here there is uh, that is why sometimes it is very easy to fool people in the name of religion yes that is correct okay and there are lots of fake gurus or uh, sadhus or guru whose main focus is to earn money yeah because you're trusting a lot to this uh, particular guru then sometimes if this guru uh, is having some kind of a uh, bad mind okay like a criminal mind then obviously he can do something bad with you right because you are trusting him you don't know nothing about your religion so you have to trust him if he is sem saying something about god god is the say the this and that this and that you will feel like you will believe him right because you don't know nothing about religions and you thought he knows the guru knows right that is why the best thing is to avoid this kind of fake guru is start reading your own religion book right whatever religion you follow but try to understand what the philosophy is, philosophy is there in your religion right what, what is the solution for all those problems that you have right if you d don't want to know if you don't want to read by yourself you'll be always fooled by someone okay so that is why fake gurus also have lots of you know uh, disciples because people go to gurus only when they are having some kind of a problems which is not possible to solve uh, with the you know modern technology or uh, he become confused what to do now right so that is why you know lots of gurus have lots of disciples okay disciples are not like uh, every disciple goes to that gurus because of some problem right some disciples are like for fun for enjoyment also they go like he is a very popular sadhu so i need some selfie or he is a very popular sadhu so uh, you know i want to increase my popularity if i had uh, some kind of youtube video with him I means uh, some kind of people just go for enjoyment also but mostly the highest number of uh, huge number of people used to go to those sadhus because they have lots of problems in their life okay and that is why some fake gurus have also lots of disciples okay and uh, they have very you know high profile disciple also like big celebrities big minister also become their disciple because uh, big people have sometimes big problem in their life okay so they are also going for solution there okay sometimes they go for their profits like some minister go for some gaining popularity because they have become very popular so minister need popularity right so they used to invite sadhus and etc right so this is why the f fake gurus exist and uh, that is why the fake gurus have also lots of disciples okay P because people are having lots of problem in their life because they don't know nothing about how to solve uh, their own life's problem because they have not read any religious book okay so the, 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 the this is what happening nowadays okay and uh this is what is said okay yeah and number seven 
and because of those fake gurus lot of spiritual uh, superstitious beliefs are spreading yes and those fake gurus sometimes used to claim that they have some kind of psychic ability or supernatural power right they have some kind of divine power they used to claim like this but the main thing is that uh, th they never prove okay they never prove in the front in front of the public whatever they have proved uh, that's just in front of the camera okay. and in fr front of the camera everybody can prove anything right everybody can prove everything like magicians right magician used to show some beautiful uh, you know some kind of magic no some awesome magic which you feel like oh this is not a magic this is reality like this right so they used to do like this okay so uh, they, they, the, none of the gurus never have proved um, the some gurus okay some uh, gurus who have uh, said that uh, he has some kind of a uh, spiritual power th 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 they have never proven in front of scientists but it is not like that uh, the spiritual uh, things uh, doesn't work or some kind of supernatural power doesn't exist it is not like that okay because I myself had uh, air uh, admokinesis uh, I myself is a psychic practitioner so I also had experience already so I know these are all true but we need proof okay we need proof I will also prove one day but it's not right time for me but uh, it's not like every guru is like this uh, spreading only fake spiritual belief but some gurus are real like Nim Karoli Baba right? Nim Karoli Baba is uh, you know he, he his disciples are like Mark Zuckerberg Steve Jobs and many other scientists also there right big people also there his disciple so there is it is true okay that supernatural power is there like divine power is there like s some spiritual teaching is true but uh, nowadays you know fake gurus is also rise okay so to avoid all uh, avoid from to stay away from all this kind of fake gurus the only one thing we can do is just understand your own religion okay just read your own religious book by yourself don't trust those guru that he is going to teach you everything whatever he had just you read by yourself and try to understand by yourself only that's the way to stay away from all those fake gurus right if you understand your religion by yourself you don't need to go behind those run behind those kind of gurus right so that is only the way okay to uh, stop those kind of fake guru read your own religious book okay so now in eight number what we have because a uh, lot of uh, gurus uh, eight number because lots of gurus were claiming to have their psychic abilities they never prove it yeah people were doing lots of things without any result in the name of religions yeah th th yeah that is happening here right now people are doing lots of things right uh, people are doing lots of things which don't have any result in the name of religion okay and that is because of the superstitious uh, superstitious belief okay so uh, what they are doing i cannot say some some works okay some works but uh, some you know fake gurus are you know spreading some kind of superstitious belief and letting them to do some kind of uh, stupid things which never work, work right uh, be it is because of the those fake gurus and uh, you can stop all these things only if you understand your religions by yourself okay if you just uh, keep on trusting those gurus uh, this kind of spiritual uh, uh, sorry this kind of superstitious belief you know you will uh, have you know because they will spread it okay so so th that's what uh, this uh, uh, you know fdf is saying why why this city purusa dharma is uh, written it is written to make you aware of what is happening and um, to to know that to let you know that how to get enlightenment how to have happiness and success in life okay so because still lots of people are unhappy lots of people are doing sins lots of uh, lots of people are doing crime um, lots of people have lots of problems so why why this religion is not helping you or what so that is why uh, you know it, it is to tell so divorce dharma is to tell you that you should read your religious book okay all the solution for your problem is already there in your religious book okay so now 
so now what happened is uh, the if you if you see about your religious book also okay, why people don't read those religious books it is because uh, religious bo books also it is very weak right nowadays people don't have time to read because uh, people have to spend lots of time in school colleges uh, uh, running a, a behind their career right because nowadays there is a lot of competition for career also so you have to work very hard for uh, getting jobs also right so that is why people don't have time nowadays to read those religious book also so um, and uh, that, that is the reason people don't have time because the religious book is also very big and that is why uh, Siddhi Purusha Dharma brings you a small number of videos okay uh, whatever videos you have in this Siddhi Purusha Dharma are all the small small videos which you can read in just one day you can just complete one video in one day okay maybe it is uh, it will take time for you to understand those PDF a uh, little bit some days you will take but uh, if you want to read just you can read in one day okay and it is written in a very simple words that everybody can understand okay so uh, w we are we have just uh, care about all those people you know the, the who might not understand what I'm writing right I don't want okay I don't want people to have like this problem of not understanding so that is why I have written in very simple words like one that there will be uh, I don't want to use some kind of unique words words which is very uh, difficult to understand right I have only used the easy to understand words so that people can understand very easily because understanding is important okay so that is why I have created lots of uh, Siddhi Purusha Dharma PDFs okay so these PDFs uh, will teach you how to live your life okay so how to teach you or teach you how to you know uh, this one um, how to solve your problems in life how to have happiness and uh, how to have enlightenment okay so in this of uh, Siddhi Purusha Dharma uh, you will get so uh, because uh, reading those religious book is also sometimes very difficult right very big big uh, when you will get time to read so we have a very small small number of PDF just read it in one month you can complete all the Siddhi Purusha Dharma course okay so the only the important things only the important for point is taken here okay in this PDF only the important points are there not not the other things okay only the important important points which is very important for your life to live only that is written okay in this Siddhi Purusha Dharma so that is why uh, Siddhi Purusha Dharma is created so because people don't have time to read you know big big uh, religious books so I have made it small here because whatever is written in the Siddhi Purusha Dharma it's taken from everywhere okay it's taken from everywhere looking the reality okay which might be important for us okay so the that is why Siddhi Purusha Dharma is not a religious okay it's just a knowledge to have enlightenment uh, to have happiness and um, to, uh, you know the success in your life right? <coughs> so that is the reason in this slide tree um, it is written why are still lots of people in pain sadness unhappiness and sin so that is my question okay if there is a lot of religions the role of God is there why people are still in pain happiness uh, unhappiness sadness right so that is why I thought you know I can do something that people uh, people will stop doing sins or people will stop having unhappiness sadness so maybe I could bring some happiness to people bring some enlightenment to people so that is why this Siddhi Purusha Dharma was built so in the fourth slide we have uh, what can we do now what can we do I already have tell, told you actually this one but still I'm going to read it once for you uh, number one it is written we can simply take the best part of all the religious with the logical explanation yeah that is that is what I'm saying I already have said uh, just a minute before right just a, mm. So the what, what what we are doing is we are just taking all the important point that are found in all the books or uh, all the other books or all the religious book and just taking some important point and noting down in one video okay. 
so and name it CD Purusha Dharma which means a person who has said this okay so I have named it as a CD Purusha Dharma okay why I have named it as a CD Purusha Dharma because uh, the I thought it is a good name because I, I'm practicing Siddhis and I'm practicing psychic abilities. Siddhis means sometimes it is said as psychic abilities, okay. But the meaning of Siddhis is, I think, it is success, okay. A person uh, who is success, like this, okay. But the um, Siddhi Purusha means a person who is success. Like Dharma is the meaning of Dharma is a duty, okay. It's not religion, it's a duty, okay. So Siddhi Purusha Dharma means we can say like a person who is a successful person we can say or just uh, we can say like this also a person who has psychic ability okay the, the this has two meaning a person who has success a person who has psychic ability also because here in this advanced version of Siddhi Purusha Dharma we are going to practice psychic ability also right but for normal people they don't need psychic ability they can just have happy and successful and that's enough okay we have added something more that is valid for this modern world yes along with all those important important points that i took from other religions uh, many religions whatever is there and i write it in my own words okay so that you can understand easily uh, okay and along with that just getting for our other thing i just noticed okay what i have experienced that also is written there in the video okay in the city prosadharma video so the something the, that is valid for this modern age okay and sometimes uh, something are invalid for this modern age uh, they are uh, not here okay only the valid for this modern era uh, this kind of uh, point are uh, will will be found in this period so because everyone will have to be smart and knowledge on their own so that no one can fool him so we feel like enlightenment is only the way to get happiness and success so Siddhi Purusha Dharma will guide you to on the final enlightenment so that is what I'm saying okay so means uh, if you are always trusting all those gurus or whoever, whoever is teaching you and you don't know nothing about uh, the uh, your own religion okay you're just trusting those guru will teach you to the right path then sometimes it, 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 it is also a mistake also because trusting some person is should always be a question mark okay because uh, the golden set and you know these two every people have okay it's uh, he can become God anytime for you and he can also become Satan anytime for you also that is why trusting someone some individual person some one person is always should be a question mark okay and so that is why uh, we want people to become enlightened okay try to be enlightened yourself okay try to get enlightenment yourself so that you know everything enlightenment means knowing everything okay if you know everything by yourself you don't need those gurus okay because those gurus whatever you know you also know right you also try to get enlightenment so that's what he, we want okay if you know uh, yourself if you are a very uh, knowledgeable person like those who have lots of knowledge then obviously nobody can fool you right because you know everything how they are going to fool you what is this right so that is why uh, Siddhi Furusa Dharma is also said as a way to enlightenment we are trying to make you enlightenment right so that you, you just uh, get your enlightenment yourself so that no other can fool you right no other can make you stupid so that is why know yourself so enlightenment means having lots of knowledge okay if you have lots of knowledge nobody can make you fool right so the, that's what we want here in this Siddhi Purusha Dharma okay in this Siddhi Purusha Dharma we will tell you how to live your life and how to be enlightenment yourself okay because uh, humans uh, uh, God and Satan uh, both exist inside humans okay he can become God for you anytime he can become Satan uh, to you anytime okay it just depend on his suffering and condition right so that is why trusting some person of individual people is should be always a question mark so that is why we, we want you to become enlightened and in this city for Dharma we have a PDF for enlightenment being also how to become enlightened yourself okay. so that is what uh, is the solution so that nobody body can fool you and enlightenment is the solution for happiness okay if you got enlightenment you will become happiness happiness will automatically come to you 
and also you will uh, you will have a CD success also okay because as a happy person uh, success is always on his part okay I will uh, tell you uh, in upcoming video okay about this so this is the solution what we can do now it is getting enlightenment ourselves instead of trusting other people right? so <laughs> the journey to enlightenment is the way to live happy and successful life that is what we are saying okay i already have said that in this siddhi purusa dharma we are trying to make you enlightenment okay? we are trying to get you enlightened so that uh, happy and successful comes to your life okay uh, so who should we trust now here it is written that who should we trust okay uh, when we look at someone as guru first concentrate on what he is teaching really benefits for you or not if his teaching is not beneficial then you should look for other way okay well, so what is the what what here uh, it's written what it means that if you are looking for somebody means you are trusting some gurus very much like uh, you are you have faith to this guru very much that uh, you cannot ignore him whatever he says you just trust him then don't don't do like this okay you don't need to trust one particular person or one uh, thing one uh, because he is a human so the we, ca we, we can it's very difficult that uh, we can trust him or not okay because if we trust him blindly then sometimes he can make us fool also right he can make us stupid also so that is why uh, trusting someone some person some people uh, some human uh, should be always a question mark okay so what 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 should we do now to whom we should trust so what what should we should trust is his teachings okay don't look him just look his teachings uh, look his teachings carefully and uh, if his teachings is beneficial for you means it is uh, benefiting you then take his teachings but if his teachings is not uh, benefiting you then don't take his teachings okay don't take his teachings so his teachings is important than this person okay only trusting this person is not the right way okay it's sometimes a mistake uh, th don't look this first look his teachings okay if teaching is benefiting you then take his teachings if his teachings were not benefiting you then ignore those teachings okay so you have to learn to understand that which teachings is important and which is not because everybody cannot give you perfect answer okay sometimes he may fool you or sometimes he may uh, uh, try to do something right so that is why uh, always try to look his teachings more than this person okay it's not like this person is very good so i'm going to trust whatever he say don't do like this okay in, in number three we have uh, don't trust only one look for all listen to all combine them and make them suitable for your situation right in our city purusha dharma the one who becomes our guru should have at least one psychic ability okay uh, in the third line what it is written that don't trust only one person okay that uh, you are going to listen the teachings of only one person and only obeying whatever he says okay don't do like this whatever what you have to do is you have to look for all the gurus okay you have to look for all the gurus just respect all the gurus and uh, listen the teachings of all the gurus and try to combine okay try to combine and make it suitable for your uh, for your life okay because sometimes what happens is this guru is teaching difference that guru is teaching difference sometimes it becomes like confliction okay so because uh, everything depends on the situation right so you have to make it for your situation it is not like uh, this guru are teaching whatever and you are uh, you know using it in the same way not like this you have to modify a little bit okay take this guru's teachings take this uh, another guru's teachings take all the guru's teachings and combine it okay. combine it and try to modify it for your suitable condition okay so you have to learn to do this okay you don't just trust only one guru okay trust every guru take all the teachings combine it and uh, modify it for your situation and throw out all the teachings that doesn't benefit your life right you have to learn to do this kind of things okay so what happened in our siddhi purusa dharma okay uh, in our siddhi purusa dharma 
uh, we have two type of gurus okay we will have two type of gurus one is the original gurus who will be called the siddhi purusa guru and one will be called as uh, learner guru okay so siddhi purusa guru will be a uh, real guru but uh, what what is the quali qualification uh, what is the qualification of that guru is uh, he should have at least one psychic ability okay he should have at least one psychic ability if he does not have any psychic ability he will be called as a learner guru okay learner guru means he is still learning on a learning stage okay he have not become enlightened or he have not become original guru right so that is what we are planning okay in this siddhi purusa dharma the guru should have at least one psychic ability or you will just only call this learner guru okay so that's what is siddhi purusa dharma okay so that is that is why you should join Siddhi Purusha Dharma, okay? Because uh, it is not a religion, okay? It is just a knowledge. It is just a duty to get enlightenment, success, and happiness in your life. Okay? If you need enlightenment, happiness, and success, then here we are going to get, uh, guide you how to get those things, right? So that is why you should join uh, Siddhi Purusha Dharma. It it doesn't matter from which religion you are or what you are following, which God you follow. We we never care about all those things. Okay, we are just sharing some knowledge that which will help you to live, uh, which will help you to make your life more better, right? So that is why you should join Siddhi Purusha Dharma. Okay, I hope you guys have understood what I'm saying. So I think this should be the end of this video, and I will meet you on the next video and that will be for uh, joining Siddhi Purusha Dharma okay what you should do to join you know Siddhi Purusha Dharma okay so thank you for watching